the same people who would have such a dog will just go out and get another one. They're no more educated. They're no more responsible. So I think what we should be doing, mm. like we do with every other case, is if somebody breaks the law, the person who breaks the law is punished, not the implement that they used. The Times Online today is a shocking video of people training American XL bully dogs to attack. In one clip, a man wielding a whip lashes at a barking dog in the middle of a London park, provoking it to lunge and bite hard on his padded sleeve. In another, a dog is set loose in a children's playground and dashes through a tunnel designed for toddlers before locking its jaws on a trainer's arm. The Prime Minister has, of course, promised to ban them, but first, the breed has to be defined. Rob Allen is an expert canine behavioural trainer. Uh, good morning to you, Rob. Good morning. Do you think that banning dangerous breeds of dogs will stop dog attacks? Uh, no. No. It, it won't. It hasn't. It's been proven not to. Uh, the Dangerous Dogs Act was brought in, in 1991 primarily to uh, ban the Pitbull Terrier. There were three other breeds listed, but uh, there weren't any of those in the country anyway. Uh, we find 32 years later, we still have Pitbull Terriers in this country. Just last week, I was contacted by somebody with one who's growling at their toddler. Mm. It hasn't worked in 32 years. It's not going to be any more successful. And what's worse is when you ban a breed, as they did with the Pitbull Terrier, making it difficult to own them. They just created something new. So now we have the XL bully, which is even more dangerous mm. than the Pitbull was. So, so what's the alternative? Yeah, what is the alternative then? Well, the alternative is to do what we do with every other law, which is that if you commit an offence, you are punished. And by banning the Pitbull, all you have is the same people who would have such a dog will just go out and get another one they're no more educated they're no more responsible so i think what we should be doing mm. like we do with every other case is if somebody breaks the law the person who breaks the law is punished not the implement that they used but, so if i as a mm. xl bully owner have an xl bully out of control we already have a piece of legislation in the dangerous dogs act section three which makes it an offense for any dog to be dangerously out of control. We already have that. Of course. But the problem Rob, is that nobody's enforcing it. Yeah. No, I, and I, ta I take your point, Rob, that the problem there, of course, is that we have to wait for a dog to be out of control. We have to wait for a dog to attack someone before well, we can actually, do anything. Actually, no, we don't. The dangerous, the, what it says is for a dog to be dangerously out of control, that doesn't mean it has to attack somebody. If it was, if I was on the other side of the road and it was barking at me mm. under the current legislation, that owner could be prosecuted. If it was just running down the street without a lead on and wasn't attacking anyone, it's dangerously out of control. That owner could be prosecuted. That piece of legislation, the whole point of that was to say that we no longer had to wait for somebody to be attacked. Under the previous law, you had to prove that a dog was aggressive, was dangerous. Well, under that act, under this act, you no longer have to do that. So simply the dog leaping up a fence that it mm. can't get over. But if the owner or if the person passing by feels that they are in danger, they can report that. Dog. And and just oh, we already have legislation. Okay, okay, but 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 very finally, Rob, do you think actually that there is the will for that kind of um, law to be enforced? I think what the trouble with trying to administer is that it's expensive, and nobody wants to pay for it. We already have legislation. The police don't want to pay for it because they're already super stretched. Yeah. So who's going to enforce it? And the trouble is the people who have these dogs know that the likelihood is nobody's going to come knocking on their door. Well, if they did, they wouldn't go to public parks doing things like this, well, but they know they're safe because well, nobody will pay for it. Well, exactly. It is a very difficult problem. Rob, thank you for talking to us. That's Rob Allen, who's an expert canine behavioural trainer.